let us look at this set of equation and first let us solve this algebraically and then I'll explain it graphically. Okay, so let me write the first equation x squared minus 6x plus y squared is equal to negative 5. My aim is to make this uh, ultimately make a quadratic equation. So I can see a y squared here and I also can see a y squared. So making y squared the subject, I hope you understand y squared is. Uh, I'm going to move this to the right hand side, so it's minus x squared plus 6x. Then minus 5 is already there, so that will be minus 5. So this is my say, equation A. Okay, so let me use a different color. So this equation, so if you make minus y squared the subject, so minus y squared is 36 minus x squared multiplying both sides by negative 1 so I can say y squared is minus x squared will become plus x squared and plus 36 will become minus 36 so this is equation B so equation A is in terms of y squared so you are saying y squared is equal to this and equation 2 is also in terms of y squared so from 1 and 2, or A and B, from A and B, what can we say? I can equate this with this. So I can say x squared minus 36 is equal to negative x squared plus 6x minus 5. Now I want to make it a quadratic equation, so what should we do? I, do, I want, I'm going to add x squared to this side. I'm going to take away 6x and add 5. So you do the same thing to this side. So I'm adding x squared, taking away 6x and plus 5. Okay, I hope this is not messy. So this and this gets cancelled. Minus x squared plus x squared. So this has become a quadratic equation. So this is 2x squared minus 6x minus 31 is equal to 0. So I want to factorize this. So you can use a calculator, but I don't want to use my calculator. Uh, but I want to use a method called completing squares. So I'm going to divide the whole thing by negative. So neg sorry, I'm going to divide the whole thing by 2. So this becomes x squared minus 3x minus 15.5 is equal to 0. So I'm going to add 15.5 to both sides. So I can say x squared minus 3x. And I'm going to leave a space here is equal to 15.5. Okay, now what can we do? I want to make it a complete square, uh, completing the squares, what can we do? The half of, that's this is a method, uh, we have, I've discussed this in many, this is called factorizing by completing the squares. So I'm going to do the half of 3, which is negative 1.5, and then square it. So square of negative 1.5, I know, but if you don't know, no problem, you can use the calculator. So I, oops. I keep using the big eraser. So this is minus 1.5 squared is 2.25. Is 2.25. Okay, so I'm going to add 2.25 to this side. So if you add 2.25 to this side, you'd add 2.25 to this side. So what will happen? So now you've got this is a perfect square of x minus 1.5 the whole squared. If you want to check, you can, if you want to check whether this and this are, are the same, you can expand this and you will get this. This is equal to, this is 17.75. Okay, now you can also factorize this by using quadratic formula. You will get the same answer. Okay, if this is confusing, use the quadratic formula. I hope you know the quadratic formula. So let me write the quadratic formula, which is x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of 
b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Now this quadratic formula is nothing but what I'm trying to explain here. So this becomes, I can use a black color, so this is x taking square root of both sides, so x minus 1.5 is equal to plus or minus square root of 17.75. 17.75. I'll show you, show also how to do this on a calculator. So this is x is equal to 1.5 plus or minus square root of 17.75. Okay, so this is x1. There are two roots. So x1 is 1.5 plus square root of. So let me use minus first and then plus. Minus first. So this is minus. Minus 17.75 is one root and x2 which is the second root is 51.5 minus square root of 17.75 17.75 so i'll need to use a calculator now because i can't do square root of 17.75 so the one root is 1.5 take away shift square root of 17.75 which is minus 2.71 okay so x1 is minus 2.71 in two dp in two decimal places and x2 would be uh, where's my calculator that is nothing but 1.5 plus Use a plus and then delete, which is 5.71. So x2 is 5.71 in 2 dp. Okay, so we are almost there, 2 dp. Now we need to find your y, and what's the equation of y? We know y squared is x squared minus 36. Okay, you can use this equation or this equation. I think this is an easier equation. So I'm going to write y squared is equal to x squared minus 36 okay so this is equal to i'll take x1 so that is minus 2.71 squared minus 36 okay so you even you don't need to find this so use your logic y squared will become uh, a negative number okay so let us do that so let me use so bracket negative 2.71 squared minus 36. Logically, also you can understand this will be around 4. Okay, 4 point something take away 36 is minus 28.7. So I can say y squared is minus 28.7. Now, if you use your logic now, can you, if you square any number, can you get a negative number? Okay, so this, what does this tell me? That this is, from y squared, you can't get y, okay? So, this tells me this is not possible, okay? Or you can say, this point, I as you cannot get a square root of a negative number, or thinking differently, if you square it, any number you cannot have a negative number so this is not possible I'll explain this graphically okay so yeah if you put again y squared is x squared minus 36 so we'll use our logic here so this is 5.71 squared minus 36 so again so this will be 25 point something so this will also be a negative number negative number so we are saying y squared is negative which is not possible not possible that means this there is no point of intersection basically what we are saying is there is no solution so the algebraically we can say there is no solution or you can say the equations are inconsistent or the technical word is the equation 
uh, inconsistent. Uh, in consistent. This is a technical word. That, in other words, it tells me this. This means these two graphs do not intersect each other. Now I have drawn the graph of that. Now this is. I'm not going into much detail. I'll show this in a different program. This is the equation. The first equation. This is the equation of a circle. So those who learn conics, you can. This is a circle with center 0, 0 and a radius of 2. Okay? And this is a hyperbola. This is a hyperbola. Its hyperbola is like a parabola branching out in two different parts. So this is a graph. So this is a circle and this is a hyperbola. And they are not intersecting. Now this is a program which call, is called Graphmatica and you can download this from the internet uh, which is free to download so let us type in this equation the first equation was x squared this is how you type in x squared minus 6x plus y squared is equal to negative 5 and it will i hope you can see this this is the equation of a circle. Can you see this pink part? A pink circle. It's very light. Hopefully you can see it. So this is the circle. And if I type in the next equation, x squared minus y, there's an arrow key, a carrot key like this, is equal to 36. And these are the two branches. These are the two branches of the... Uh, this, this are, so can you see it's passing through negative 6 and positive 6? And this is centered at 3, 0. And this is this is passing through 5, 0 and 1, 0. Can you see the radius is 2? So this point is 3, 2. And this point is 3, negative 2. So these two, these are two graphs and they're not intersecting each other. And so we say the equations are inconsistent.